Well, what's up, everybody? So, uh, GW here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, if you've seen some of the other episodes, you'll notice the swirl filter right there is missing. I have decided to take this uh, free day, project day of mine, and retool the system. I am going to, I've been looking at some of the YouTube videos about the gravity fed swirl deal and I'm gonna I bought some um, bulkhead fittings and I'm going to attempt this okay so step number one is done I took my uh, 44 millimeter um, it's like a one and three eighths inch, inch hole one and three quarter inch 44 millimeter hole saw and drilled a hole at the top all these spiders landing on me. Top of the fish tank where I want the water level to be. And you can see it's a pass through there. Uh, it's a, the bulkhead fitting I got at a uh, tank supply store. All right, now the task to uh, pipe it begins. Since these are threaded, I got a he's not working here right a three-quarter inch threaded head on here so you adjust tighten this down like so then you'll have to do the same over here And I'm just fitting these to fit. I'll pull these back out if I need to uh, put some Teflon or some sort of tape, plumber's tape on there. So here I've created my stand pipe. And I'll attach two bars with some um, holes or slits cut or drilled into them, into these pieces to suck up the solids. I just place it down there, it rests on the bottom. Uh, just a shade off the bottom and I just kind of put it onto that piece really snug So far so groovy Time for a video update so Drilled another one there put a piece of piping in between here and here and Now we have Pass through, pass through, little tiny piece of pipe there. I can still turn it on or off. And I've got to stick a piece of three quarter inch threaded. Oh. Okay. I got one. I move my camera bag out of the way. Possibly it might work. Now, I bought six of these bad boys because I knew that's what I would need. Arrgh. Ugh. All right. If I had any smarts, I'd have some sort of kind of really cool, it's time for a video update kind of intro thing, but I do not. What I do have for you here is the ends so you got the little couple slits there a couple slits there some holes in the ends of my stand pipe now i may end up needing to drill a couple more or cut a couple more slits but that's okay because that's easily done easily taken care of so we're going to go ahead and sink this in get it a nice fit snug it's not going to be too fit because i'm one-handed at the moment uh, now I think I am ready to start putting water in the fish tank just to see this thing uh, fill up. It's uh, time for the fit test. All right, fit test in progress. Put the strap around my wrist, that way I don't... Uh, Is 
any undue camera damage. All right, so we're almost to the level where this should start to, there it is, it's starting to get filled. It's almost there. There it is. And we're rolling now. All right. What I'll do is, if I got faster water coming out of my hose, and I think my pipe can handle at the moment, or do I? No, I don't. Or do I? Yeah, I kinda do. All right. So, I'm gonna switch this over and drop this in here. <laughs> All right, so we got that. That's good. Okay, me again. Did some improvising. I took out the cinder block. I had a coffee table that was outside for a long time and just wasn't doing well. I got to re... That's all my plans to refurnish. So I just um, took three of its tops to it. Like I said, I'm going to redo the top. And I did that. But I also did that. So I made the water level more level with the fish tank because I figured the water level would be the same. Uh, and now let's start this process again. Um, I added some Teflon tape to there, or some plumber's tape to there. I had trouble getting that off, so I left it the same. I tried to tighten this up in a bunch. I'm gonna have to come back with some, probably a, something stronger than my little weak hands can manage and give it a final tighten, tighten on it. But, uh, I think it's time to do my test again. Let me go ahead and I'll open that. Let's get the... Wow! I don't know if that was residual or just because I shifted the water around, but it started already. <laughs> Probably because I shifted the water around in there. Oh goody, here it goes. We'll find this out real quick. <laughs> so I think that took about two minutes to flood. And here's where it gets a little scary because it goes almost all the way to the top. Of course, I may be doing this backwards as well, but I'm a live and learn kind of guy. <laughs> we got my aeration going. All right, look at that. So there we go. That's about where that went. Check it out over here. This is filling up now. All right, now we're starting to drain process. I may have this way backwards. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna let it rock out like this for a little bit. Good morning all again. Uh, this is a continuation from yesterday's video. I had a bona fide aha moment when it was dark outside and I couldn't mess with my system anymore. Yesterday I had the grow bed dumping into my fish tank and it was fluctuating up and down. So my aha moment was all the other videos I've seen, the grow bed has dumped into the sump and then you have the pump from the sump to the fish tank and from the sump into the grow bed and then from the fish tank to here so i did um, this is the original pump i've had well fountain pond it's actually a pond pump so it pumps it's got uh 
it's got like a T in there so it pumps one and pumps the other and I can direct the flow. And I've got it dialed in a little bit over here to where it trickles in. I wish there was a bit more air bubbling, but I mean it's got a little bit of air bubbling. So my drain still works. The swirl filter still works. You can see some solids down there. Uh, I think I might have to move that so it faces down a little more. And then, nope, there's the siphon that's already kicked in. I thought about, I thought about putting the, making a raft out of some styrofoam I had, but that was messy, it didn't work out well, so I'm gonna abandon that idea and proceed with my other idea about putting uh, a couple rows, well, a table here, kind of uh, an angle coming towards us, um, and then getting a smaller pump and setting in the corner and just having water pumped in through there is to have a little strawberry, strawberry raft, strawberry raft? No, strawberry trough and lettuce trough like I had in the other, other location but a little better. So that's kind of, kind of the plan. I don't know whether or not it'll be flat or at an angle somehow to connect back into there. I'm just not sure yet. Designs will be coming. I'll take a look in here. So of the things I know I put in here, I got two basil plants. I have one, two, three, four lettuce. Yep, two basil, four lettuce. That's pole bean, squash, sweet red bell pepper, and tomato. I don't know what I want to put in this section here, uh, if anything really at the moment, though I may do something there. I'll have to, I got a spare PVC and bamboo so I can try to make things branch out where I need to. So that's the system from the pump to the grow bed from the grow bed, back to the sump, from the pump, follow the black cord around to the fish tank. And, hi, from the fish tank into the swirl filter, and from the swirl filter, back to the sump again. And thus we start it all over. So that's it. Um, oh, there's my rain gutter grow system. Still not hooked up. That's going to take a while. Potato buckets. The potatoes in this one, they're about to crest the surface, which I'm pretty excited about. But everything else seems to be doing well. All right. We will talk at you later. Oh, uh, yeah. By the way, um, like this video, subscribe down at the bottom. Um, come have some fun with me because I will. I keep saying that, but it's kind of true. Have a good one.